The Battle of the Five Armies is the last Hobbit film in the Hobbit trilogy. Now I love the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I saw that when I saw the first Hobbit trailer. I was like, oh crap, I gotta watch Lord of the Rings now. And I did. And I loved it. Got Return of the King right there. And, uh... That explains it. Return of the King. Best one. But The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, I thought it was good, but it took a very long time for the adventure to actually start, which was the main focus here. The adventure. It took a while to get started, and it did feel slow at times. The Hobbit The Desolation of Smaug definitely picked up the pace and was the better Hobbit film, and with The Battle of the Five Armies I was afraid that Desolation of Smaug would be my favorite because this one would have like the big battle at the beginning and then maybe have to slow down near the end. The Hobbit The Battle of the Five Armies is actually a really really good movie and to be honest my favorite Hobbit film out of them all. It took a while for me to think about it, but yeah, this is definitely the better Hobbit film. The acting as usual is great. Martin Freeman does a fantastic job as Bilbo Baggins, and Ian McKellen as Gandalf is never a bad thing ever, and we have the guy who played Dracula as Bard. Yeah, I, I still hate him for Dracula, but he's awesome as Bard. Benedict Cumberbatch was not in the movie as much, but while he was Smaug and the Necromancer, he was really cool. The dwarves, they all have chemistry. Even though some of them don't have enough lines to say, they all fit together like a big dwarf family because they are. And Richard Armitage, or Ar Armitage, it's the guy who plays Thorn. He definitely fleshes out the Thorn from the book because that's the Thorn we know. If you didn't read the book, this is definitely where this was definitely expected for him to kind of start going a bit nuts. It's also good to see Orlando Bloom back as Legolas. It's good to see everyone back in the battle sequence, the Battle of the Five Armies. Oh my god, the, how long was that? That was amazing. The entire battle of the movie is like the majority of it. The majority of the movie is that freaking battle and it's amazing. It is put together very well by Peter Jackson. Great job, my friend. And this movie does not have any unnecessary scenes that I would like to be cut out. This movie definitely feels like it fits perfectly. Unlike Hobbit 1 and 2, where some things could have been cut out that maybe were dragging it on too long, this one actually feels natural and well put together, and it is definitely the best one. But unfortunately, we still have that elf and dwarf relationship between Taria and Philly. Philly? Killy. Philly. Yeah. And that part is just really stupid because Tariel is not in the book because I know because I read it. Yeah, I actually read a book and <laughs> Tariel's not in the book. Philly is in the book because he's one of the dwarves. Their relationship never happened. But for some reason, Peter Jackson put that in, and some people thought maybe this is like the form of the elves and dwarves becoming friends or something. Not at all. This It's just there to be there. Like, something happens in the movie, I will not spoil it, in case you don't know, and it, uh, then that's the end. And it's, who cares? It doesn't lead to anything. Nothing happens. Nothing. Should be cut out. Then we got that green screen and CGI problem. I swear, there is one character that shows up in this movie who is completely CGI. If you look close enough, he looks really, really badly CG'd. Come on, Peter Jack, your CGI is not that great where you can actually CGI a person. But if that's a real person, then I apologize, but... No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was CGI. And there are definitely some moments where the g CGI just doesn't really work. I mean, it's cool to look at sometimes. The CGI sometimes looks good. But then you got the obvious green screen and CGI shots. If you can notice that a person is CGI or something over there in the corner is CGI, you can tell this is green screen right here. It's not good. But I had a really, really great time with this movie. It really wrapped up perfectly. The acting was stupendous. And it is just so good to see a great ending to the Hobbit trilogy because it didn't really start out that well. But it's pretty awesome now. I actually really do want to rewatch all of them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get the trilogy Blu-ray or something. My only problem with it is that the CGI and green screen shots look too fake at times. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. And there are moments, dude, characters should be dead. And the Tariel and Philly relationship, cut that out. No one cares. There's even talks of love with the, like, King Elf. He came in Tariel. That is not true love. Shut up! We want to see a battle. 
not some relationship issue, but I'm gonna give The Hobbit The Battle of the Five Armies a B+. It is a really great Hobbit film, and I do like it better than Desolation of Smaug and Unexpected Journey. Go see it immediately, because it is really good. So what did you think of The Hobbit The Battle of the Five Armies? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time. <laughs>